Okay, this is the third uh, video, and it is gonna be the arteries of the lower half of the cat. Uh, I'm gonna be spending less and less time on showing you techniques of dissection and, and concentrating more on the structures that you're gonna to want to be able to see. So you can see I've already opened up the abdomen on this cat. Why? Because they're in the lower half of the cat. Uh, uh, by the way, it wasn't this clean when I first opened it. Uh, if you get a cat and you see a whole bunch of this brown stuff that's in there, uh, wash it out really good. I, I had the, like about a gallon of fluid. I kept flushing in there and cleaning it out. And then if you see a puddle down there, uh, just take these paper towels and, and, you know, sop it up, get rid of that extra moisture. You'll put it back in when you're getting ready to close your cat up. Uh, all of that dark uh, stuff, by the way, is dry blood. So some of these cats bleed a lot when they open them up. And that's what that is. It's all blood that has accumulated inside the uh, abdominal pelvic cavity. Okay, let me get me back on the film here. Things tend to move when I'm playing with it like that. Uh, so, you know, just a really, really quick recap there. There's your diaphragm. There's your liver. There's your gallbladder right there. Gallbladder. Uh, underneath the liver, there's the stomach. Huge spleen. Look at that spleen in this cat. Uh, and then greater omentum. Yeah, so we want to reflect all of this stuff out because where's the lower arteries? Uh, going to move the spleen out of the way. Stomach's going to be in there. Intestines, uh, both uh, jejunum, ileum, and then the colon. With the There's the cecum right there. Okay, and then uh, all of the parts of the colon. So we want to reflect that all out. There's the colon here. We want to look at that. i got some more cleaning up to do here. See all of that gunk there. Uh, because the blood vessels are going to be very deep. Okay, they're behind everything, or retro, peritoneal, retro. So we want to find uh, the uh, peritoneum. And the best way to do that, a uh, good way to start, this would be my recommendation, find the kidneys. Uh, so there's the left kidney, here's the right kidney over here, and you can see it's covered with something. So that's what you want to get off. Get that uh, coating that's on top of the kidney, and that's the peritoneum. Uh, now, uh, why is kidneys a good place to start? Uh, because you can find the renal artery very easily. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm cleaning this up. Uh, and then let's do this side here. It'll be a little bit more visible for you all. I need to hold that up out of the way, right? What was that technique I showed you? Take a probe like this and stick that in there, cat. Uh, sometimes it's tell, if you got another student there, by the way, you know, tell them, put them to work. You know, say, hey, hold this stuff. Uh, so there we go. Let's, here's the kidney. There's the peritoneum covering it. Yeah, get that all off. And so as you uncover it, oh, look at that. There's the vein going to that kidney. That's the renal vein. Uh, so right next to it, what, what do we expect? There it is, the renal artery. Uh, so there's the renal artery and the renal vein. Now that you've found the renal artery and renal vein, follow them back. Uh, what you'll see is the renal vein is going into the inferior vena cava. We're not doing that yet, though, are we? Do, we're doing the arteries. And then the artery, renal artery, is going to go into the abdominal aorta. And so that's the one that you, you're going to want to be able to expose. Uh, so there, there's the, let me pull it up so you all can see it. So there's the renal artery. And I'm going to start cleaning that all up now. So I'll pause this, and then we'll come back, and you'll see how I've cleaned it all up. Uh, I, I don't need to show you how to clean things up anymore. You've developed your own techniques for that. Uh, and so that's what you want to do next. Clean that all up. Okay, what I want you to see now in the spirit of being complete and uh, show you what I've got so far. I'm nowhere near being uh, done with my dissection. Uh, but what my probe is underneath right now is the abdominal aorta. And in the lecture portion of this lab, uh, what did I, we say the first seven branches were? Well, the first one, yeah, there it is. But we have to verify that this is celiac trunk. And I'm going to do that. Yeah, look, look at what is this going to? Well, what did I move from over here? That's the spleen, the stomach, the liver. That's what that's going to. So this is located most superiorly. It's going towards the spleen, going towards the stomach, going towards the liver and the pancreas because that's this tissue that you're seeing under here next, in the next to the uh, by, as it goes towards the duodenum. Uh, so that's uh, celiac trunk. The next one should be these uh, superior mesenteric and there it is. So what is that going to? Well, this is colon. If I move this colon up and out of the way, it's going to all of this. It's going to the, and you remember this from the abdominal pelvic organs, uh, that is the mesentery proper. And you can see all the blood vessels in that. Uh, and so that's what it's going to. It's underneath the colon and it's heading straight towards uh, the uh, mesentery proper. And so that is superior mesenteric. The next two branches are, is, very, very small, and, and that you're going to see this little sesamoid thing is particularly on the uh, left side, 
uh, and that's the adrenal gland. And so that real tiny little blood vessel right there, there it is right there, uh, that's adrenal lumbar, because that's the adrenal gland. So it's coming off the abdominal aorta, there's adrenal lumbar on the left. Uh, here it is on the right side, look how small that thing is. Uh, you might not even be able to see it, I don't know, I can see it from here. Uh, but what's that going to, uh, yeah, above the kidney on this side, and, and the, this caudate lobe of the liver, by the way, is hiding the adrenal gland on this side, but it's up there. Uh, that's where the ad adrenal glands are located. Uh, in, in the uh, human, this is more of a pyramid-shaped organ, and it does sit right on top of the kidneys. But in the cat, it's a little bit medial, and it looks more like a sesame seed than it does a pyramid. Uh, so there's your adrenal lumbar. What's the branches we got so far? Celiac trunk, superior mesenteric, right and left, that's left, right, adrenal lumbar. A lumbar portion of that, remember, is because it goes to the back muscles, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit again. Uh, so there's the next one. There's the left renal on this side. There's the uh, uh, kidney on the, on the right side. So where's the right renal? Well, underneath here, underneath the, underneath the vein. Uh, so I didn't quite clean that out yet, but I knew I could see what was going to be in store. There it is right there. Uh, I could see what was in store that I was going to be breaking those adrenal lumbars, and I did want to point them out to you before I did. Uh, but there's the right renal. Okay, after the renals, uh, the next one we would like to see is the genitals. This happens to be a male cat. And so if we go down further and look for a branch that's coming off the, uh, by the way, there's their uh, genital vein, or in the male it's called what, spermatic? Uh, that's the spermatic vein. And the artery down here is accompanying it, but it went into the abdominal, where's the abdominal aorta? That's this thing right here. Uh, so we don't have that nice, uh, nice red color here, and that's because this cat lost most, most of its blood into his abdominal pelvic cavity. Uh, so it's not that nice red color that we would like to see. Maybe your cats will treat you nicer as far as being able to see that nice red arteries in there. Uh, so the latex didn't fill this one up real nice. But there it is. That is the, that is the abdominal aorta. So the genital branch would have been next, and it's the uh, spermatic in this cat because this is a male cat. I'm, I'm desperately, desperately trying to uh, save these veins because, remember, we have to use these cats again for the veins. Uh, but you can see I did okay. There, there's the abdominal aorta, uh, and the branch for the uh, spermatic is somewhere up in this region here, and it's probably broke because you can see, look how tiny that is. Uh, that there is the, well, let's see if I can get my scissor under it. There it is, that tiny little skinny branch that I'm holding up with my scissor. Uh, that's the left spermatic. Uh, we should be able to find the one on the other side too, but uh, maybe not because it's so darn tiny. Uh, okay, after the uh, genitals, what was next? Inferior mesenteric. So I'm going to pause this again, and we'll come back when I got that cleaned out. Okay, I'm back, and now we're going to do the next couple of branches. We're still not even going to get to number seven. Lost my probe here. Got another one. Uh, so let's recap. Don't forget, I did the celiac trunk, which I've got hidden now. Uh, the superior mesenteric, adrenal lumbar, and right and left renal. I talked about the uh, uh, spermatic right and left, and actually I did, I did get to those. Uh, so here's my abdominal aorta, uh, and there is the right spermatic. Look how tiny that is. But that's the right spermatic, and there's the left spermatic. So it did kind of break, but there it is going over there by where the uh, spermatic vein was. Okay, so it's kind of joining where the spermatic vein was over here. Uh, and so that's the left spermatic. After spermatic is what? Uh, inferior mesenteric. So how do you identify that? Oh, look at that. That's, there's the colon. And what goes to the mesocolon? There's the mesocolon. There it is. That's inferior mesenteric. Inferior mesenteric. Uh, also, just to let you know, this big uh, uh, tube, duct, whatever you want to call it, uh, that's the ureter. That comes out of the kidney, and that's bringing urine to the urinary bladder. Notice I pulled my urinary bladder up here, so it was up and out of my way. Uh, and then there's the uh, descending colon going into the rectum there. Notice also I, I changed the direction the way I was pulling everything. When you want to find inferior mesenteric, it, it, gen it generally is easier to pull that to the left side of the cat rather than this way. Uh, so, it, But that's up to you, whatever way you want to do it. I'm going to continue my di dissection down inferiorly because I want to find uh, the iliolumbars and then get to the deep femoral and the femoral and the br branches inside the leg. Okay, here's the next part of this. Uh, just to remind you, here's where we left off. There's the colon. Get my fat arm out of the way. There's the colon. There's the inferior mesenteric. And the next two should be the iliolumbar. There's the right iliolumbar. It's at the level of the ilium. 
and then the left iliolumbar. What happens in next is the two next two major branches are the external iliacs. So here's the right external iliac. There's the left external iliac. Uh, internal iliacs, the abdominal aorta continues for this very short distance. And then there's the internal iliacs, right internal iliac left internal iliac, uh, and then this cat didn't co cooperate with me in, in uh, being exposed in the caudal, but the caudal should have been right in this area here where we could have seen it going to the tail. Uh, so I probably broke it because it's so indistinguishable, the color of the tissue here just looks like all the dried out blood. Uh, and so I probably ended up breaking it in this particular cat. All right, I'm gonna go back and start my dissection down the leg and find the deep femoral, the femoral, and the saps up and pop. Okay, just to remind you where we left off uh, up here, we had the external iliac. Uh, you notice I'm uh, sticking to the left side on this particular cat. Uh, there's the internal iliac right there and the caudal did not cooperate with me. Uh, so what's the next branch? As the external iliac is getting ready to leave the pelvic cavity, and if, when you're doing your dissection, you'll feel, the, you'll feel the hip bone right there, the pelvis right there. Uh, there it is, that's the deep femoral. Deep femoral, and now this becomes the femoral. As the femoral approaches the knee, uh, this cat, uh, the vein is much larger than the artery, but uh, take my word for it, if you look real closely, you'll see that the artery is in there with the vein. Uh, and that's the sap, which stands for saphenous. Then you got the sup, this is the superior geniculate. Uh, genu means knee, that's why it's geniculate. And then there's the pop. The pop goes all the way to the back of the knee. When you want to expose this popliteal, by the way, you're gonna to have to cut out all of this muscle that's kind of co covering it. The popliteal goes deep to the back of the knee. The superior geniculate goes to the top of the knee and the saphenous goes all the way down the leg.